Hello friends, my name is Om Priya and I'm an educator of Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy website and you can also download Unacademy learning app. And friends, if you like my courses, then please rate, recommend and review my courses and don't forget to give it a big thumb. Now let's talk about the lesson. So in this particular lesson, we will be dealing with the KCL and the nodal analysis. So these are the very important topic in electric circuit, right? So let's start our journey. Thank you. So let me tell you something about the lecture pattern or the lesson pattern. We already discussed it in previous lecture. So let us discuss in detail. So first we will take a gate revisor question. It will be two marks question. Then the related theory, whatever the theory required to solve this question. So in this particular lesson, the theory required is KCL, bridge of current law and nodal analysis. And by the end of a lecture, we will solve the question. So here we have a solution. This pattern is very important from exam point of view, especially from the revision point of view. Do the study in this manner so that you can easily grasp the concept and you can take it this concept in your mind for long duration. So first, read the question carefully. In a figure, so. Here the figure is given the value of voltage source. They are asking this voltage source value. Right? So this is our question. This question is very simple. But what we require to solve this question, we need to know how to apply the KCL and how to apply the nodal analysis. So what is given in the circuit? First we have one current source, three resistors. And here the current value so we know the current through this E this voltage source and here we have some options it is two marks quotient gate previous quotient so let's see what is bridge of current law it's in short known as a KCL so its statement is it states that the algebraic sum of the current meeting at a point or entering a node is zero so whatever the current entering in our node or the algebraic sum the current meeting at a node is zero see here the current is moving out from uh, this particular node right can you see so according to the statement Algebraic sum of the current meeting at a point or entering in a node is zero. So to making it an entering in a node, we can directly write I2 as a minus I2 and I1 as a minus I1 also. If you want to show it in this direction. KCL current law. So it is based upon law of conservation of charge. Mark this point. This point is equally important. Because as KCLs depend upon law of conservation of charge, such type of quotients uh, asked in SSCJ in DMRC, like on which KCL is depend on. So KCLs depends on law of conservation of charge, right? If you forget this point, then don't need to be worried. Let me tell you the shortcut. I equals to, you know that what is current? Current equals to dq by dt. Right, so current equals to rate of change of charge, right? So current in charge, you can remember this point from the formula I equals to dq by dt, current in charge. So KCL is depend upon law of conservation of charge. Now the sign convention for incoming currents, whatever the points, whatever the current are incoming, I'll take it as a positive. And for outgoing current, I'll put a negative sign to showing them in inward. Right? For example, I2 is outgoing current. So I'm putting negative sign to show it in entering or incoming. Similarly, for outgoing here, for I1, I'm showing is a minus I1. And you should remember it. Incoming current equals to outgoing current. So can you see this I3, I4 and I5. 
दीज आर इन कमिंग करेंट दीज आर कमिंग और एंटरिंग इन अ नोट इक्वल टू आई वन एंड आई टू दैट इज इक्वल्स टू आउट गोइंग करेंट एंड वेन यू पुट दिस राइट एंड साइड वैल्यू एंड टू लेफ्ट एंड साइड यू विल गेट माइनस आई वन माइनस आई टू प्लस आई थ्री प्लस आई फोर प्लस आई फाइव इक्वल्स टू जीरो अकॉर्डिंग टू आर स्टेटमेंट सो इन दिस वे यू कैन ईजली एबल टू अप्लाई द के सी एल सो दिस इज आर के सी एल इक्वेशन वॉट इज नोडल एनालिसिस सो बिफोर डूइंग दिस नोडल एनालिसिस लेट मी टेल यू वॉट इज नोड सो नोड इज अ पॉइंट वेयर टू एंड मोर देन टू एलिमेंट्स आर कनेक्टिंग टूगेदर राइट simple note so node are basically two kind of simple note and principal note simple note that means a common point where two elements are connecting together that is known as a simple note principal note or you can say main note the point where more than two elements are connecting together now for the nodal analysis you should know about the ohm's law and kcl kcl we already covered ohm's law v equals to ir that we already know just remember this is applicable on both planar and non planar network this is a planar network and what is non planar network a network in which one branch is crossing one another suppose is a branch and it is crossing this branch so that kind of a circuit is known as a non planar network so we can easily able to apply the nodal analysis on planar and non planar network but we cannot apply the what we cannot apply the mesh analysis on the non planar network now what is the procedure how to apply the nodal analysis so let's see first identify total number of nodes in a circuit So here the total number of node one, two. So basically, there are the two nodes in a circuit. Then take a reference node and assign at a ground potential, and rest of node is called non-reference node, and assign a arbitrary voltage to them. So I'm taking as a reference node, assign to the ground potential zero, even say here zero also, and to the other non-reference node. assign them a voltage arbitrary voltage i am putting here va develop a kcl equation crutch of current law for non reference node so for this node i have to apply a kcl basically current direction now solve the equation and find the nodal voltage so by solving that kcl equation we have to find this particular voltage node voltage so what is the number of equation required on solving this kind of a structure so the number of equation required in nodal analysis is n plus 1 where n is a number of node right let's see are uh, there are few key point let me tell you or uh, this this is somewhat you can say trick you can directly actually apply so for finding this i x y what you will write so moving in straight direction you will write uh, minus v x for i in potential then for drop in potential you will write uh, i x y r plus drop in potential e and here plus v by equals to 0 right so this particular equation you don't need to write you can directly write this how just write the difference between the voltages at end points so we'll write vx minus v by and suppose current is entering and there is a positive so what it is a opposite sense so you can write here negative e whenever you're going towards a positive voltage so we'll write here negative e and divide it by the r so you can directly write this equation it will save your time similarly here 
let's see when you going forward and you will find negative first so it it will be kind of attraction negative negative so it will support so i'll write in here vx minus v by plus e divided by r so in this way you can directly write this equation or you can also just write the equation then solve for the i you can do anything but these are the key points so i'll use these key points now we need to find a solution we have to find e value this voltage source right so for that i'm using kcl nodal analysis i'm taking a point first marking the total number of nodes one and two this one i'm taking as a reference so i'm giving it a ground potential or you can see zero and here i'm taking the arbitrary voltage va now let's apply the nodal sending you can also send the current direction right here 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 so let's write first equation that is from this side see i'm taking current direction KCL like this okay at this node so let's start first I'll write VA minus 0 so I'm not showing the 0 here so I'm directly write VA and you're going like this so this is touched to the positive point first so I'll write in here positive positive negative opposite attraction as I told you the shortcut so I'm applying a shortcut VA minus E divided by 6 6 ohm right plus for this VA minus 0 divided by 6 ohm and here you can also write VA minus 0 divided by 10 or you can also write minus I1 right as we already taken a current in this direction and our given direction of current is in opposite so I'm writing here minus I1 that is equals to 0 and here you know that this current you can directly write a 2 on, so on solving you can write here 2 VA minus E equals to 6 on solving this equation and for this purpose I'm writing here can you see that E minus VA divided by 6 equals to 2 right so on solving you will get another equation we have two equations and two variable on solving you can easily able to find VA that is 18 volt and E that is equals to 30 volt so the voltage E is 30 volt all you need to apply a case here the nodal make an equation you already know this current but we also put the value of this and equate it to this my this was minus so that is why I'm showing here e minus v a by 6 equals to 2 on solving we have two equation two variable you can easily able to solve so you'll get the answer e equals to 30 volt so option C is the correct answer so in this way you can easily able to apply the KCL and nodal I hope you like this lecture pattern if you like this then write the comment into the comment box and also follow my lectures thank you